guys it has been a minute since we've done a castle build video but we got all these pieces in and i can't wait to show you how we're going to lay these out and get all this done So it has been like two weeks since I've done a castle video, but I did get all these parts in. These uh, two by sixes are what I've been waiting on for the stairs. I'm going to try to get the stairs done first and get that layout to come around so I can get that second portion of the big tower done. I think what we're gonna just call that is the main hall. The main hall will kind of be the area that still consists of the throne room, the big dinner table, kind of where the king stays, but that will be on the tower that sits on top of it. Um, I'm going to put like a huge library area in there that has a bunch of books and some tables to sit down and read. And we got the huge fireplace that has all of the skeletons and stuff on the wall. I still have to create one. Um, I've kind of veered away from doing anything interior right now. I still have to get this thing kind of at a level where I'm okay with it because all this is being transported to the Columbia, South Carolina Brick Con that my lug is hosting. And that will be at the end of this month. And it's actually in like two weeks. So I have two weeks to get this thing stable. What I would like to do is have that center section sitting down and having that the roof that I created sitting on top of it and all of that being flush and then I'm just gonna stop for a second. I'll pack it all up and take it and then when I come back is when I'm going to kind of work on the second part of kind of putting all finishing all the interior and doing the interior of the actual castle grounds that way all i need to do after that is finish that roof section to where it's just going to continue to build up the other levels that sit on top of it but i am tired of talking about this i have waited for this a little while so let's get to throwing all these pieces in there creating some stairs and doing other things so we know where everything needs to sit where i started out with this was on that second floor um, I, it's really kind of like the roof to the entrance. I wanted to go ahead and finish that off. That way it would be level and I would know where I had to put the base down to the bottom so I could know where to start and finish the stairs at. Now, this is not going to be the same height as the main hall portion where the dinner table and everything is at. It is going to be huge. I wanted it just to be like gigantic inside and kind of have that look of being like almost like a cathedral, I guess. Like when you walk in, you just all of a sudden have 50 foot ceilings. I was building of uh, kind of the inside and the outside at the same time and I didn't know where the outside exactly needed to be and some of the detail was kind of conflicting and hitting things and I just had to take it apart and start all over and I really don't want to do that anymore so I'm trying my best to kind of plan that out beforehand. Um, with these stairs, oddly enough, I kind of spaced it out perfectly where there's one section in the stairs where it only goes like five wide, but most of the stairs are gonna be six wide, which is really what I wanted to match the walkway with around the rest of the castle. Now this did come out really, really perfect in my opinion. As you can see, as I'm building these stairs, it really did work. It's not very often that you come up with an idea or come up with a vision and it worked out perfect the first time. Lord knows this castle has not been doing that so far. So it was pretty cool to see that happen this time. With these stairs, all I've really done is taken two by six plates and stacked them too tall and just kind of staggered them up and met the rest of the way with other by six plates. Some of them are six by six, some of them are six by 12. It just depends on how long it is. I just wanted it to kind of flow perfect and fit with the rest of the walkway around the castle. That way the minifigures look like they have plenty of space to get around. With these stairs, one of the things I wanted to do was kind of make them be multi-level. I didn't want it just to be a solid incline to the uh, top. I really wanted it to kind of break off. So what I did was I made the front section smaller and kind of followed the line of the castle to build it up. So you get that effect of where, you know, you walk a couple stairs, you got to take a turn, walk a couple stairs, got to take a turn. And then you're, then you're kind of on the main portion. I think it looks much better than just having stairs going up in one direction. I really do think it looks a lot better. I hope y'all think the same. It's one of those things that it came together perfect and it definitely didn't come together the first try. There was a lot of trial and error in this where I was just stacking plates and moving some to see how far I needed to get up till I could lay that next big plate down. While you're building a mock, one of the things you're gonna realize is that nothing ever really happens perfect the first time, especially if you're trying to use Studio. Like I'm saying in the other mock series, Studio doesn't always allow the perfect little places to be met or done because it's hard to use hinges, it's hard to use any of the, anything that moves and it's hard to calculate how much weight something's gonna hold. So building it does kind of 
bring its own little challenge but failure is where you need to happen because if it doesn't fail you'll never know really the right way to do it so failure is okay in this just don't give up just keep building and keep pursuing the the way you want it to end up in the end and it especially is a little harder when you're doing what i'm doing with the castle where i have like a rough draft but i'm kind of building it all off the top of my head also it would just take forever to actually build this thing brick by brick in studio so I didn't do that at all. I'm kind of just winging it once I've got the, the basic layout down. Just remember, if you do not fail, you will never learn. Uh, it really happened in the city. As you could tell, I rebuilt the city multiple times before it was uh, really done. And I still really wasn't happy with it. If I could redo it over, I would do it different again. Um, it's one of those things that you just got to keep trying and keep trying until you get it right. And remember, every time you fail, you're going to learn something that you're not going to do again. Hopefully and also remember that it's Lego So every time if you build it to where it's one stud short or one stud over all you gotta do is change a couple things There is a section in the castle that I've highly screwed up, but I am NOT taking anything apart I'm just gonna adapt to what needs to be done and finish it out from there After I got the stairs done one of the things I was able to do was really go back and put some of that detail on the outside of the castle that way that detail followed the rest of it now the inside of this really doesn't have that much detail. Um, if the piece from the outside has anything on the back of it, you can kind of see it on the inside. But I didn't want to give it that more clean look. I wanted to give it that look to where it hasn't really been weathered and stuff like that. And I didn't want to have all that detail everywhere because I just feel like that would be a overkill for this thing. I do, now to remember, I do really want this to look like Lego. Also on the inside, one of the things I'll be doing is adding a bunch of stuff like bookshelves and tables. I'll be adding a bunch of candles and stuff like that everywhere and like the pillars. I don't want to, I, I really wish there was stuff I could put on the wall, but there's just not very many companies, even in the, the aftermarket world, that kind of print stuff that should go inside of a castle. There's a bunch of companies that print signs and stuff, but it's mostly like for keepers ends and dra warning like dragon signs and stuff like that it's not much stuff that can be placed inside of a castle of course i was able to place another order with camel city they ran me the plates i needed and these are the doors we ended up with i think it came out absolutely perfect it isn't the design that i used in studio i've kind of adapted it and put more kind of detail on it um they do open uh perfect they do close perfect they don't kind of sit flush because of the way I have the hinges but if you have the hinges on the outside of a door I guess that I kind of thought that maybe back in the day just like now the hinges can just be hit off really easy and I didn't want it to seem like that I wanted it to seem a little harder to get into because the castle does need to be guarded and this is a second kind of area that sits up top so there's no way to get inside the door without being up here anyway unless you kind of scale the castle and I know that really don't make sense, but you'll see the way that looks when it's done. The bottom door is going to be identical to this. Um, I did go ahead and order some stuff to finish the handles and stuff like that. That hopefully should get here next week, and there will be a video of me kind of throwing everything together and finishing this before I put it in the boxes. But once it's in the boxes, it's just going to stay that way until I get back. I might show a little bit of a video of maybe building some stuff at the actual convention, but the problem is, is I'm not taking any pieces, so I would have to buy pieces there to do it. Um, I really don't want to bring a bunch of loose pieces and be working on this while I'm there. I'd rather just set it up and enjoy the time with all my buddies. Now on the left side of this, all I did was basically kind of mirror what was on the right side. I did screw up kind of um, a lot on this. I miscalculated totally by one stud. So I ended up having to take all of this apart and rebuilding it again, which like I've said before, it is Lego. It's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of frustrating. But now that the stair set is done, let's go ahead and fast forward through all of this and let me get to show you the final product. Now, before I do that, this right here is kind of the final piece. As you can see, it's not done yet. I do have to add some pieces up here and I do have to finish the interior. I do want this done by the time I go to the convention, just kind of what I have in the middle. I did kind of find a picture online where somebody did the insignia of the Black Falcons and I want to kind of copy that I'm using the blue and black. I will be tiling this whole entire floor and the floors in the kind of castle will be tiled. So I will be getting the tile pieces for this to kind of finish the section and then put it in the castle. But let's go ahead and show you a video of me taking this all over there, getting everything set up and kind of where it'll stand for the final look.
now that you've seen all that, I know it is kind of hard for you to get as excited as I am about this, but I am absolutely just thrilled. I cannot wait to finish this thing out, and I'm really not that far from being done. Um, I looked the other day what it's going to take to kind of finish all the interior floor, so all those pieces are going to be coming. Um, I do kind of want to stop building around on that last part of the wall just because of the simple fact that I don't want to box myself in so I'll probably be doing all the interior and stuff before I end up doing that and that will give me a little break from buying brick and move on to stuff like the little tiles and plates but I would like to thank everybody from watching this I hope that you see this progress and like this as much as I do remember if you do hit that subscribe hit that like button come back and see us next week peace